Hello everybody, it's Nick here, and today, in celebration of PAX, I'm going to show you guys how to rip VGM music from mostly Sega Genesis games. Now, this is a very tedious process. It's not hard, it's just tedious, because there's a lot of stuff you have to do, a lot of programs you have to have open at the same time. But, uh, once you know how to do it, it's easy. And remember, I'm not a programming whiz or anything, I wanted to get into NSF ripping, but I could never figure out how to do it, so, this is a good alternative. First, um, now we're going to start off with a fairly simple game. I mean, this is probably going to be like more than one part, but by this part I'm going to show you guys like how to rip at least one song. So let's do Jeopardy Sports Edition. We're going to do something simple here. I don't know what Paperboy 2 is doing in there. So, we're going to reset. Now, you want to hold Control and V to log a VGM file, or you can go to uh, Sound and log VGM file. Now when you do this, it's going to ask you what you want it to be, so what you want to call the file name and where you're going to put it, so we're going to do Jeopardy for, we're just going to call it, how about J1.VGM, you don't have to add VGM, it'll do that by itself, but anyways, so, so we're going to unpause. Now you want to log it until the song loops, so make sure you know when the song loops or else, you know, or else you're gonna have problems. So, I'm gonna skip ahead here. Alright, so once it's looped, you can log it a little bit longer and then just stop. Hold Control and V. Um, now, it's the fun part. Ripping it, or, you know, what, making it sound like the game. So, we're gonna go back. Yeah, I'd camp see you open. And ignore all these files, they're mostly useless. Okay, so we got J1. Now you want to open up, uh, make sure you have NVGM for uh, for Winamp. The latest version too, or else the stuff may not sound right. Anyways, so you're going to take this VGM file, you're going to play it. Um, I was playing Sting earlier. So it's 43 seconds long, you know, you can press right. Okay, so, if you hear it stop at the end, that's fine, it's normal, if the notes stick. So now what you're going to do is, you can either go to Options and Preferences, or you can just simply hold Control and press P. Now click Null South Disk Writer, and I'm going to have it output a WAV file of this VGM file to, um, to my desktop. So, do that. Okay, so, and if it asks you if you want to overwrite, just say no. Now, I always forget to do this, but do it again, go back here and go back to direct sound output. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to find out exactly where the VGM starts and where it ends. So, um, we're going to drag this into Audacity. You, you, you need a sample, or you need a, you need a, you know, a wave editor that'll let you, uh, um, they'll let you look at the and samples. So here it says samples, but I think it's originally in seconds, but you want to click samples. Now you might think, oh, so it's just a WAV file that you trim, you know, and then it becomes a VGM file, or you save it as VGM, but no. No, we're going to take that exact VGM file from earlier and edit it, but that's, you know, we'll do that later. Anyways, so here you're going to keep, um, you're, you want to go to the earliest point that you see the wave start at. So right here, so now you want to get out Notepad and write down, you know, unless you have a very super good memory, you're going to want Notepad. So 1349, I'm going to write that down. Now we want to get the point for which it loops. So uh, uh, we're going to go to the end here. So now we want to try looking for the point where the song loops again. So. We're going to go here, to this point, so that's where the song loops again, and we're going to copy down this point here, so 1, 8, 3, 4, 8, 7, 7. Okay, so now, uh, you want to keep this open just in case the VGM doesn't play back right. So, we're going to take that VGM file from earlier, put it in VGM tool, and all, the, all these programs in use, I'm using, you should be able to find on the internet quite easily. So, anyway, so we're going to go start is going to be th 135, whoops, 13549. 
Now the loop point is where you want the VGM to loop, so even if the song ends and is silent, you, have, you still have to enter in the loop point. So anyways, may, oh, it's, it should always be the same as the start, unless, you know, the loop point is different from the start of the song. So anyways, so in this case it's going to be the same. Now the end, 1, 8, 3, 8, uh, 4, 8, 7, 7. Now if the song loops, you're going to want to click and highlight include looping or check it, and then click trim. Now, it'll ask you if you want to open it in your associated program. For me it's Winamp, so I'm just going to say yes. So I'm going to skip, uh, now see there, it didn't sound that right. You know, it, it played the wrong note when it looped. So I'm going to loop it just a bit earlier, now let's see. Go back to the little file here. Because really sometimes the FM data starts earlier than this and it just doesn't look like it in the way better. So let's go to 70 for example. Let's see if that works. Okay, nope, it still doesn't work. How about 800? Although that might not help either, it might be too early. But this is the, te this is the most tedious part about it. Okay, so at this point, I'm probably guessing it's probably my start point that's that's bad, not the loop point. So I'm gonna trim it a little bit. All right, so let's see if it sounds right this time. There we go. Now see, so yeah, it takes a lot of fiddling around to make sure you know where the right loop points are. But I, but before you go upload this anywhere, play it again and make sure. It's, you know, it loops right. So I'm going to turn up a bit. That sounds right to me. So there you go. Now this, I'm doing a simple game because, you know, there's a, the game goes, or the song goes silent before it loops. So it makes it easier to find the right points. Now there's other songs where, you know, they, they loop without any silence or, you know, they, the, song, the whole song doesn't have any silence in it. So what I do for those games, and I'll, I'll make another video about this probably, um, is I'll make a video, you know, where I'll, yeah, I'll loop the VGM from the point, like, where it's the most silent, and then I'll end it where, at that same point. So it's hard to explain, but, like, if I ever do it in the future, or I'll, if I make a video in the future, I'll show you guys that. But anyways, this is pretty much the bare bones way to, you know, to, to rip VGM files. Now... There is another trimming program called uh, VGM Trim, but I always have very bad luck with it. It never seems to want to loop properly, so I don't know. Maybe my computer might be something I'm doing wrong, but uh, you know the program that program never seems to want to work. And plus, it's command line. So if you don't know command line, even if you don't, it's pretty simple. But it's uh, pretty uh, you know it could be a little confusing if you don't know how to use command line stuff. Anyways, you also want to add in the, you know, the the names. So you go to the GD3 tag and just go to, you know, I think Merv Griffin or Julian Griffin did the music for the Jeopardy theme. And then Michelle Simon did the conversion. And if you don't know who did, you can look up on Moby Games for game credits. They usually have stuff. Then you put your name on the VGM file list. And uh, you put in the year, so here it says 1993. If you don't know the exact release date, that's fine. And you don't have to add in Japanese tags, but if you want, that's fine. Now, after you click Update GD3, it'll turn into a VGZ file, so that won't be the same thing. But, I mean, it's the same file, just different file extension. So if you try playing it again through WinApp, it's not going to play because it can't find the VGM file because it's been changed to a VGZ file. And, of course, you want to... Let's uh, make a new fo folder for this. So we're gonna go to VGM. And we're gonna go make a new folder. And there really is no point to ripping this game's music because this, all three versions of Jeopardy are the same. I already did the original version. So, sports edition. So we're gonna take that VGM file, we're gonna try, or the VGC file, I should say, put it in here and uh, we're gonna do one or zero one and then just uh, Jeopardy theme, or title screen, Jeopardy theme. And th these are the rules in uploading them to sites. You, you know, you add the number with the zero at the beginning, and then 
you know, title screen or whatever the name of the song is. So. And that's pretty much all there is to ripping BTM music. There's a few other things, like you need an image of the title screen itself, but this tutorial's about how to rip VGM files themselves, not actually, you know, upload them to sites and stuff. So anyways, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please ask. I'd be more than happy to help you. And if there's VGM you're trying to trim and you just can't get it, let me know and I'll, you know, I'll take a look at it. But make sure it's Genesis. If it's MS-DOS, the only program that works with it is the VGM trim program. For some reason, when you use this program, it will output it silently. Like, there won't, you know, it'll be a blank file for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with that, but... Yeah, as, as far as Genesis music goes, you can send me what you got and I'll take a look. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope this helped. And again, let me know if you have any questions. Peace out. Have a good one.